Hall with Reverend Edgar Wright and Reverend Virgil Akers along with the Oxford Sacred Singers. Now the program being sponsored by the desk and supermarkets of Welch and English, Mr. and Mrs. Willie Osborne of Johnny Cake, Robinson and Phillips Coal Company, Pineville, Maid Cartwright Dodge of Welch, the good guys, the Klein Service Station Hanover, Glenn Klein, the owner, the DeWeese Supermarket of Oxford, D&T Chevrolet of Bradshaw, and the Angus Mining Company of Cold us to do as this world we travel through. Let us work on till Jesus calls us home. Tell the lost of Jesus' love, point them to that home above. Let us work on till Jesus Our gracious and eternal Father, once again, we're privileged, Lord, through your mercies to approach thy throne with humble hearts, Lord, we bow. Before thee this morning, we thank you, Lord, for the watch here, the undeserved blessings, Lord, of another night, another week. To us, and Father, as we're here this morning, we confess, living God, that we're unable within ourselves, for we know not the need of the hour. We look to thee this morning to ask you, Lord, as humble as we possibly can to bless us together here, Lord, and use us one more time. This tide of eternity that we might be a blessing to our people, that we might glorify your holy and divine name. And Lord, as we bow here and this morning, we realize that another year has come and gone. And loving Master, you've been uh, so kind and good to us. Let us live and you've supplied the necessities of life down through this year. We only bow our knees to thee this morning, Lord, to thank you, honor thee, and to give thee the praise, and to acknowledge this morning, loving Master, that in thee we live, move, and have our being, that we're the clay and you're the potter, Lord, that without you we fail before that we even begin. Loving Father, we ask you this morning to guide and direct us, Lord, in the remaining days, hours of our life, whatever, Lord, that it might be, that we might Loving God, be able to magnify your holy and divine name, that we might lift up our voices like a trumpet, that we might cry aloud, that we might warn our people, Lord, that loving master of the impending danger, loving God, that there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. And Father, we humbly ask thee this morning to bless this hour here that we're gathered. Loving God, to your glory and to the salvation of mankind. Loving Father, that our people, Lord, are buried and our boys and girls and our dads and moms, lost and undone, Lord, our neighbors and their children, Father, we pray. Loving God, that we might be able to reach out to them, we might be able to warn them that they, loving Father, their hearts be prepared, that they might believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, that they might be saved, Lord, before and that it's everlasting too late. Father, our people today are realizing, Lord, that we're living in a time when that there's lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, and living, Lord, in peerless days, Father, when seemingly we're surrounded by uh, every type of evil, Lord, and not uh, having the knowledge of what to do or uh, how to move. Lord, we look to thee this morning and place ourselves in your hands. Should help our people, Lord, to be pray this morning, our nation, loving God, the United States of America today, and the leaders, Lord, that loving Father, they may know what to do. And this morning, Lord, we beg, loving God, for those over there that are uh, held by the hands of wicked men, Lord, that you might uh, stand by them and that you might deliver them, Lord, we only pray this morning. Most of all, loving God, that they might look to thee, Lord, and knowing that Loving Father, though death may come, Lord, if Thou lives in us, and we, Lord, are watching, and we are prepared to meet You, Lord, that it's uh, so much better on the other side. And loving God, we beg for our people that are old-aged and feeble this morning, unable to go out to the house of prayer, and kill the Blankenship, Lord, we beg on her behalf. Loving God for and Brother Virgil's mother, Sister May Jones, Lord, Oh, Brother Willie Mullins, this morning we beg, loving God, Brother Eli, laying down in the hospital, should you reach down, Lord, and touch his aged and feeble and afflicted body this morning, and give him strength, Lord, we only pray, Father, and oh, Brother Papa, loving God, this morning, that you stand by him, Lord, we realize that his mind, he's 
Uh, I just don't know about things, but loving God, they are able to keep thee. And Father, in the hell of, uh, of your hand, Father, would you just and be mindful of him this morning and each one that has to be remembered in prayer. Those that are sick and afflicted, Lord, confined to their hospital, their home, but a show Lord, Lord, we pray this morning, look down upon them. That uh, uh, Debbie's stepdad, Charles, Lord, we pray, loving God, that he might look to thee, that he might cry out, O oh Lord, this morning, that he might uh, realize, loving God, that it's not thy will that we perish, but that all should come to repentance. Bless our own home, our companion, Lord, we only back this morning, and Brother Virgil's home, his children, Father, Sister, Essex, oh God, that you'd look down upon her and give her strength, Lord, as she... Uh, a minister to Brother Virgil's mother, Lord, we know that it's confining and loving God, that it uh, uh, brings uh, tiredness of the body. We pray, O oh Lord, that you just be with her, stand by her in every moment. The singers and their families, Lord, we pray, Sister Walls, this morning. Mama Blankenship, Lord, we humbly beg, Brother Pete's mother, Lord, and, and loving God, we humbly ask you this morning for... And those that have written to us and those, Lord, that are uh, up on the highways this morning and as we approach this new year, and loving God, realizing that many will go after uh, Father the Bible and, and many will die on the highway, bring heartaches to their family, help them to understand, Lord, how much better that it is to live in a, a, a peaceful uh, community and a peaceful environment. Help them to understand, Father, we beg. Bless the radio personnel, Lord. We only pray this morning that you stand by them and as they speak encouraging words to us, Lord, and help us along this journey of life. Help them to understand. And loving Father, we pray this morning, loving God, that as we are here in this hour, Lord, that some unsaved souls, oh Lord, that they might go to their knees and that they might begin to cry out unto thee. They may look unto thee, for thou art able to save to the uttermost them to call upon your holy name this morning. Guide in all that we do and bless all that we're duty bound to pray for. And we think about this morning, Lord, and Della Walker, loving God, that hardly able to walk, Father, but thou art able to help her, just help her to look to thee this morning in all things and to realize, and loving God, that thou art the answer to every problem, loving Master, and then when uh, thou shalt come, the Lord, the towel shall bring healing in your wings. Lord, help her to look to thee. Give her strength and give her courage. Lord, we only beg. For it's in Jesus' holy name we pray. And amen. Amen. Again, we'd like to say good morning to you and greet you, by the way, at your radio in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to thank the Lord once again for allowing us to be here, and friends, another year is coming down, and uh, as Jeremiah began to write that the harvest has passed and summer has ended, and we yet we're not saved, and friends, if uh, you're closer, as we've said many times, you're closer right now the best than you've ever been in your life, closer to the good, and closer to the day God than you've ever been in your life today, and I wonder how it is, if you so, wonder how it is that you and the Lord this morning, and really trust that you will make up your mind that for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, to get ready, friends, and we're going somewhere, and then, uh, that, uh, we've got to get ready to go, we can't just wait to and the thing comes to us in order to go there, we're going to have to get ready to go. With uh, people that are traveling uh, 72 hot beats a minute toward the judgment today, and we must get ready, friends, if we want to meet the Lord in peace. And we might uh, again say, 
well done by a good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things to make you rule over many, and in the end to the joys of life. And how good, friends, it is this morning to realize that this old life is the short end of the thing, where the troubles and the heartaches and the aggravations that we have here are just for a while. But on the other side, friends, uh, there's a long, long time for us to be over there, and a long, long time that we can enjoy it. And I know that a lot of people are preaching that hell is here on earth, and friends, I want to tell you something this morning, but from, uh, from the very depths of our heart, that what little uh, aggravation that you have here, my friends, it'll be heaven compared to that hell down yonder uh, where the rich man went to, and God ever helped you to realize that this morning. And our first song now, I'll wear a white robe, and truly the Bible is declared unto us that they shall be clothed in white raiment, he will overcome us, shall be clothed in white raiment, and I'll not blot out his name out of the book of life, but will confess name before my father and his holy angels. And you think about it this morning, friend. Uh, Moses one time told the Lord, said, if you blot their names out, they'll blot my name out also. And Moses said that he would blot all that have sinned, all that have sinned. And the Lord said that all that have sinned, I'll blot their names out of the book of life. And friends, when that happened, while well, your destiny sealed, you're doomed and damned forever. And that's just about as plain as we know how to put it. And I'll wear a white robe, the name of the first song, and we do trust that the hour will be a blessing to you. I want to send the entire hour out this morning and do it for all of those that are confined to the hospital, to their sick bed. And I want to especially better, uh, remember Brother Eli Mullins is out at Stephen's Clinic Hospital. Brother Eli, trust the Lord will bless your heart real, real good this morning. And also want to remember um, Debbie Klein's uh, stepdaddy, Charles Holcomb, and Mrs. Holcomb this morning in the entire hour. We want to remember them and trust that they'll only look to the Lord Jesus Christ, the one this morning that is able to do all things and do them well. He knows their needs more than we even know how to ask him. He knows more about us than anybody else in the world today. And we do trust that it will be a blessing to Mr. and Mrs. Charles Holcomb and trust the Lord will bless their heart. And Sister Marlene Lockhart has requested the song for her companion, Brother Robert, and also for her mother, Mrs. Mary Payne, of West, their daughter and family, Mr. and Mrs. Connie Klein, and sons of Yeager Rotafield Road, and also for Linda and her family, and also Mrs. Uh, Judy Jackson, and Brother Jack, Sister Joe Ann, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Workman, and Sister Barbara Collins, all of Johnny Cake, and also for Brother Howard Burks and Sister Burks here in Welch, and uh, for Mark and Faye Bailey of Rotafield and all the sick and the shut in forever they are. And we'd also like to do the entire hour for Dorsey and May Lester this morning. Trust the Lord will bless their hearts, and we want to especially remember Brother Virgil's family this morning, Sister Essie, and trust that it will be a blessing unto Sister Essie and the children this morning, our own companion. Now at home is not able to be with us, and we do trust that it will be a blessing to them as they come to sing our well of white road. I'm only a pig, I'm only a pig, one year below a pilgrim below, while journeying through, while journeying through the desert sand. Oh, hell 
tells me, the Bible tells me, the Lord has come, the Lord has come, for me to prepare, for me to prepare a mansion grand, mansion grand, so trusting in Him, so trusting in Him, I follow on, I follow on, I'll wear a white robe, I'll wear a white robe, sister who is resting with her there in her home, also Sister Dolly Miller, the Osborne family, uh, all of them, and also for Sister Barbara Collins, and she said for all of you, and we do thank you, Judy, and hope the Lord will bless you, and we did have a wonderful Christmas, and everything was so quiet and peaceful, and we do thank the Lord for it this morning, trust that the hour will be a blessing. And trust the Lord will bless as they come to sing, Oh yes, we are meeting in. Mm-hmm.
Silent River, and we we'll need somebody on our side, and that's for certain this morning because Mom and Dad can go with us through the troubles and aggravations of the world and uh, follow us to the graveyard, follow the body to the graveyard, then protect us there as they could go. Now, the Bible said to let our conversation be without covetousness and to be contented with the things that we have, for He has said that I'll never leave nor forsake thee. And he'll be all the way with us if we'll only put our trust and confidence in him sure while that we are here upon the earth. And the Bible says to let every man work out his own salvation if they're in trembling with the other Lord. And we need to do that today, and that's the only way that we'll ever get in to the holy white city. And our next song now, I want to walk as close as I can. And we want to remember Cora Lester in this song, and we do trust that it will be a blessing to her. And she's requested the song for uh, her two sisters, Mrs. Mary Hale and Mrs. Geraldine Lambert. Uh, their birthdays are on January 1, the first day of January, and that'll be tomorrow. So happy birthday to you, Mary and, and Geraldine. Trust the Lord will bless you with many, many more to come. And 
Thank you for the And I trust the Lord that will bless both of you with many, many more birthdays to come. Most of all, that every birthday will find you watching for the Lord Jesus Christ. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Uh, so those that are looking for him will be the ones, friends, that will not be caught unawares. And we are not of those that turn back, but we are and of those that press toward the mark and the prize of the high calling of the Lord Jesus Christ, of God which is in the Lord Jesus Christ. So only those that are looking for him, and we do trust that the song will be a lesson to him. And I also want to sing it this morning for Tom and Nishla Akers' anniversary, the 26th of December, so a happy anniversary, a belated, happy belated anniversary to you. Come and go to Yeshua and we do trust that the Lord will bless you with many, many more to come. As they come to sing, I want to walk as a place as I think. Mm -hmm. Do our announcements this morning, and truly, my beloved, just one step is too far away from the Lord this morning, and uh, 
There's no way that we can make it man to life by ourselves. There's no way that we can make it without once in a while that we may stumble along the way. And the thank the Lord we can always feel the touch of his hand. And how good it is this morning. Listen to our announcements this morning and go to church somewhere today or tonight where the words of the Lord are being preached. And over this weekend, tonight and tomorrow night, I'm sure that there's plenty of places that you can go to church where the words of the Lord are being preached in His power and in His purity. And obey the words of the Lord because that's what it'll take to save us from the obedience unto the word of the Lord. Be the good Lord's willing and cause us and nothing happens, the service will be, there will be service at the Pads for <coughs> excuse me, at the Pads for Free Baptist Church tonight, and I'll be there along with Brother Mormy and the Hope Roger, and maybe some of the other preachers will be there with us tonight, and you come out and be with us at the Pads for Free Baptist Church tonight, and I'm sure that if we'll come praying, the Lord will bless, and also now, and there will be a watch service at the Pepsworth Street Baptist Church tomorrow night. And we'll begin about 7 o'clock and run through midnight. And tomorrow night at the Pepsworth Street Baptist Church at the watch service. And we do have several preachers that have promised us to be there. And if anybody down in the Mohawk area, Brother Willie Coleman, might be listening, we was supposed to try to get in touch with him this week and we completely forgot it so if somebody would down by our brother Willie Coleman if he's listening we'd like for you to come over to Pad's Fork tomorrow night if you don't have anywhere else to go we don't want to entice you away from anywhere else that you might have to go but if you don't have the church has asked me to get in touch with you and see if you'd come so we trust that we can see you over there brother Willie if you don't have somewhere else to go at the watch service tomorrow night at the Pepsworth Free Will Baptist Church. Also, Brother Virgil Akers will be at the Big Jimmy Free Will Baptist Church tonight down to David, preaching for the people down there. You come and be with us down there, be with Brother Virgil, and then down there at the David, the Big Jimmy Free Will Baptist Church. And also, there will be service at the Oxford Free Will Baptist Church tonight. Brother Don, I suppose, will be there, so you come out to the Oxford service. And also there will be a watch service at the Oxford Free Will Baptist Church tomorrow night. So you in that area and you the members of the church support that uh, watch service and my being out there with the people and if we come praying I'm sure that the Lord will bless. And remember these services and go to church somewhere. Remember our sponsors, those that keep us on the air. They're the ones that make the program possible and we do our very best friends to bring to our people the words of the Lord and His power and in His purity and try to sing songs that we uh, hope and trust will be a real uplift to our people that it will be an encouragement to them and by uh, doing whatever that you can for our sponsors while well, you have to keep us on the air and the announcer gives them to you Sam gives them to you and you know who they are so by helping them you help to keep us on the air, and we do appreciate them this morning from the very depths of our heart, and we do thank God for them, and we do continuously pray for our sponsors, and we trust that we can, some way, somehow, we pay them for what they have done for us, and we'd like to send the program out to every one of our sponsors this morning, to each and every one of them, and we also have, this morning want to remember uh, at the in prayer, Brother Virgil and myself are in prayer for uh, Brother Eli and Sister Mullins' daughter, and but sit down in Ohio, and we do trust that we can be a blessing uh, to our people, and we want Brother Virgil to be in prayer with us at the end of the program for that, and also for Merle Duncan, we want Brother Virgil to be in prayer with us for Merle Duncan this morning, and we like to send the entire hour out to Merle's family. So we do trust that we can be a blessing to you. And I'm longing for home. Okay. <clears throat> Our next song now for the old ship of Zion. We want to remember Sister Wallace, Brother Jig's companion, son Tick, and also a grandson, Brian, now at home. And Brian, we trust the Lord will bless your heart. Trust the Lord will be a blessing to you. 
especially for Herdy and Cricket and Sister Collins, Herdy and Cricket Dobson, and also Cricket Snow and Sister Collins this morning, and also for Mr. and Mrs. Charles Holcomb, and also for Brother and Sister Homer Lester and Granny Bessie and all the family out there, and once again for the family of Mary Duncan, and we really trust that it will be a blessing to them. And they also want to sing this song for Daryl uh, Ryan, for the Yeager, and we trust that this is for Daryl that we know, so Daryl and his family, we do trust that it will be a blessing to you, and trust the Lord will bless you how true they did as they come to sing the old ship of Zion. troubles when I get there, thank the Lord. When I step on the old ship of Zion, we on board the old ship of Zion, I'm going to leave all mine behind. I ain't going to talk about them over there, thank the Lord, this morning. And, uh, we're going to do our very best now to do, I don't regret a mile, and uh, we want to do this for Charles Holcomb this morning, Mr. Mrs. Charles Holcomb, Debbie had requested the song and we didn't up the car as Brother Alder last Sunday morning and us this Sunday morning. I just uh, feel like I've been called for and couldn't do it. But we're going to give it a try and do our very, very best on it this morning. And we also uh, want to acknowledge a name that we missed a minute ago and it was requested by Sister Cora Lester. And for a moment we didn't recognize who was writing to us and we get in those places sometimes. But she also requested the song for her husband. And Brother Willie Lester and Little Willie here in Welch. And Brother Willie, we uh, do trust that it will be a blessing to you. Trust the Lord. We bless your heart. And just go over. Sorry that we did look over it, but thankful to God that we did notice it. And we do trust that the entire hour will be a blessing. 
and also in memory of Fred Smith who passed away seven years ago and also a song for and this is the son of Sister Marie Lockhart and or son of Lock and we do trust that it will be a blessing to her and she has also uh, had a birthday so happy birthday to you Sister Marie and we do trust that the Lord will bless you really good and trust that it will be a blessing and we also want to remember uh, everybody down home in this song for the entire Walker family this morning we want to remember them better morning Sister Emma Jean better morning Sister Ada we want to remember them and also Cardell Mark Ethel and all the children and trust that it will be a blessing to them like to remember Ray and Charlene Mullins and Charlene's dad Ballard this morning trust the Lord for the of our brother Tracy and Sister Gary and also for our brother and Sister Catherine and trust the Lord for the rest of heart. And also for um, Bud Tracy's mother, Sister Alma Clown, and trust that it will be a blessing to him. And to all you that are listening this morning, to all you that know the Lord in the pardon and forgiveness of sin, we'd like to do it for you, all you that are confined to your hospitals this morning, and to you that are on save, that we might be able to tell you that we don't regret a man. enough of those dreams. Praise God just to make me want to keep dreaming on. Yes, yes I've traveled many a night at the midnight hour, prayed many a prayer, and it seemed no answer would come, though I waited patiently and long. But answers have come to enough of those prayers. Thank God just to make me want to keep praying on. Yes, I've trusted many a friend. <laughs> Who's failed me and left me to work all alone. But I've found enough of those friends who have proven themselves to be real true. Thank God just to make me want to keep trusting them. Sure, I've sowed many a seed that fell by the wayside for the birds to feed upon. But praise his holy name, he's let me see an uprising soul walk the aisle for Jesus, just to make me want to keep sowing on. Yes, I've drank a cup of disappointment, so many a heartache and sorrow, gone many a mile without a song. But I've sipped enough of the nectar from the beautiful rose of life. Praise God just to make me want to keep traveling on. I don't regret a mile. I travel all the way. I don't regret a time. I trust Sure, thank God this morning that 
many times as I've drove my automobile or laid on my bed or maybe sit at the the table in the kitchen and envision the great revival. How that souls would walk down the aisle and be safe. Sure, I've dreamed many a dream that never came true. Seen them vanish and gone. But praise God this morning. Amen. Seen enough trusting souls walk the aisles and praise Jesus. Just to make me want to keep sowing on and dreaming on. Sure, I have. Let's pray for Brother Virgil this morning. It's good to be here. Good to have you with us this morning. You that are listening to us, good to have you with us. Good to visit with you there in your home and in your automobile. Be obedient to the words of the Lord this morning. I'm saved. Sit down just a little while. Let Brother Virgil tell you words whereby that you can be saved. Brother Virgil. Thank you, Brother Edgar. Truly again this morning, it's good to be here. And thank the Lord for the wonderful thoughts that you get from I don't regret a mile that I've traveled for the Lord. It makes you wonder back, you know. I'm going to say this, and then we're going to read the scripture. On October the 29th, brother, I almost give up, almost quit. And I begin to pray, and I begin to agonize with the Lord. Today that prayer has almost been fulfilled. By the help of the Lord, in two more weeks, we believe we're going to go back in the house of God. And brother, that's what makes me to know tonight we can travel a many a mile without anything to look forward to, but... This morning we have more than we ever stopped to realize in our own mind this morning. This morning we'd like to read just a few verses of Scripture. And finally we want you to listen to the reading of God's Word this morning. Surely we will be here now. And the time is coming when... ...than we ever have been in our own lives. We're close to now. In the 50th Psalm, beginning with the 7th verse. Hear, O my people, and I will speak of Israel, and I will testify against thee, I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifice, O thy burnt offering, who have and been continued before me. I will take the bullock out of thy hand, nor he goes out of thy field. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon the thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the fields of mine. If I were hungry, I would have not told thee, for the world is mine in the fullness of my Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of bulls? Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high. And call upon him in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee and thy secure by me. Many would like to stop out right there and fully. This morning, friend, when you read this and think about it, what do we have this morning in our soul to offer to God? What do we have this morning for everything else that belongs to God, even our soul this morning? Because, brother, he said, even the cattle upon the thousand hills of mine, and all in the world and the fullness thereof. And friend, you and I this morning are standing here on this earth through the mercies and the goodness of God this morning. We don't have anything to brag about. The Bible said our reasonable service is all that I've got it. Our holy and living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. So this morning, praying when he said, Because in the day of trouble, call upon me and I will live you and then you can glorify me. You know, I mean, it's time I wonder if we ever stop to realize and ever stop to think about how many blessings that God has bestowed upon us. But then I want you to realize this morning we cannot take what we have here on earth and try to make our way into heaven with it because then it's the only thing that we can do this morning is to do like the old patriarch of old, my friend, when God sent a messenger to him and told him, my friend, to set your house in order for you're going to die when you're not going to live. Friend, I want to tell you this morning, my friend, study out. You may live through this 1979. You may live throughout 1980 coming out. But friend, you be assured of one thing this morning. And God bless your heart one day somewhere. Your number is going to be called and you're going to answer that call. And friend, if your house is out of order this morning, then you can never set it back in order because it's upon this side of eternity that we will make ourselves ready to meet God. We make ourselves prepared because the Lord even told you. <laughs>
Oh, it'll be tired to meet thy God And left him to my brother in the soul And prophet, he went to our great head to die And he called him the best for the Lord And my friend took the house in order For oh, you're not, you're gonna die And you're not gonna live And praise heaven yeah, this morning, friend He got hit for the realizing my poor preacher He was talking about the structure they lived in No, no, brother, he was talking about The house that was standing in this morning Brother, that one that said you sold a man And tell God, oh man, to get ready uh, Brother, you take it back in the judgment uh, With him this morning uh, Friend, I beg you this morning To do what Hezekiah done I beg you this morning You, my friend, did it all And uh, you, my friend, are going down life uh, Thinking about where will I go and how And where can I go to church uh, Friend, listen to me this morning And listen to me good uh, Brother, Hezekiah turned to sleep to the law, and brother, he began to call upon God. He began to tell the Lord, my friend, Lord, and I remember how uh, that I brought the bride before thee in the pretty part of all thy ways. And so the Bible said he began to weep, and he went for my friend, he began to beg unto God. And before the man of God had got out Under the second Lord, my friend, he hadn't got out I threw the call of my friend in jail And the Lord spoke to him again And he said, you will turn back And you tell Hezekiah that I've heard Right, I've seen it too, thank God But I'm glad someday, somewhere That God's going to have to tear you away There'll never be another few shed in heaven And go to hear me today and I'm glad I Thank God he can give me joy For you did, damn you, brother And I know this morning, brother, when he went back My friend listened to me He turned back, my friend, and told him My friend, what the Lord had said And Friend, how many messages, how many times have you heard the word of God? How many times have you turned away, my friend, and said, no, this is not the time. When God has spoke right directly under your heart, my brother, I've seen him uh, stand in the house of God. And brother, just the back of the seat, my friend, tremble. And brother, the tears are running down the cheek. Friend, that's the only time that God is ever obligated to speak going to your soul this morning uh, when he speaks one time here's a guy that turned away the message of God uh, my friend he began to confess he began to call upon God and the Lord heard his prayer my friend and the Lord seen his tears and then he even told Hezekiah he said you go back and you tell him and I'll hear him and on the third day thank God he should go up in the house of God my brother listen to me tonight. I told some of you yesterday on the church house, brother, I'm like old David Black, my brother, back in the days of old, when he said in the psalmist beard, he said, I was glad when he said, let's go up in the house of God, and brother, he didn't know to we'll stop there. He said, brother, I'll hear you, and he said on the third day, you should go up in the house of God, and I will defend this city, my friend, you. And from the king, my friend, and, and oh, here's the cat told him, my friend, I do that. I told the people, he said, take a fig and lay on the ball, my friend, and, and they took the fig and laid it on it. And brother, he recovered, you hear me? And God gave him this morning, brother, to bring you up in the solid rock. He's able to bring you up out of the more clay, out of the hobo pit, my friend, the dean, and brother, set your feet upon a lot and a savage you're going this morning to her and listen Oh, Hezekiah was satisfied with it. He said, what shall be the sign of this thing? And that I will go up in the house of God. And brother, in Jesus' day you hear me. He said, there be no sign given, brother. And that only the sign of Prophet Jonah. As he was in the bed of the whole three days and three nights. So much the son of man being hard to hear. Three days and three nights. Brother, listen to me, the sign is already given, brother. 
brother. Every stand that points to day, brother. It points to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And friend, listen to me. Hezekiah couldn't believe the man of God. He said, what shall he? He said, what will you guys do? In other words, he said, let the sun go down to me. But Hezekiah said, well, I've often wondered him any time. Had in his mind, well, that's the easy thing for the thing to go down. But let it go back again. In other words, he had to see it with his natural eye, brother. To believe it with God's evil, brother, to show you the sign in your natural eye. He's able, brother, to look, let you look at him, do it. And brother, he said, my friend, oh, Isaiah began to pray. He began to call upon God. And brother, that old son began to move back to the enemy. And brother, as it went forward, I'll tell you this morning, friend, there's nothing uh, too hard for God to do. And brother, I don't care how far that you go, how far you might think that you stood. The Lord said, every sin shall be forgiven except one. And that is blasphemed against the Holy Ghost. And brother, he said, there'll be no forgiveness in this world. No need the world to come. A friend listen to me this morning. Thinking about this 1980 coming up. If we live to see it. A friend, hear me, listen to me. And make that resolution, my friend. That for me and my house, we receive the Lord. And friend, listen to me. God. You may have all the good things of life. You may have all the good things your heart desires. But there is your house in order this morning. Is it ready to meet God Almighty, brother? Lord, help us to know in your life that this is only one heartbeat away. Brother, last week, can you hear me? A brother, man, that his death is one turn to the wheel. Listen to me, friend, and hear and listen to God's word. Our Father, we are in heaven this morning. Loving God, we thank you, Lord, for these words. We thank you, Lord. Will we pray, Heavenly Father, we do not find the Lord in place somewhere. Loving God, we pray this morning to bless them that called in this morning to cry. Bless them, the loving God, this morning we have asked the Lord to be with us. Our Father, we pray this morning, loving God, this morning. Pray to this brother, he lies on in the hospital, Lord, and pray to give us prayer that we might be able, Lord, to do this. Our Father, we pray to this the son of duty, Lord, and that's what we have to do. Help us, loving God, that we do our more duty for the word of God. For the living God, the end of the city, the Lord, that you be near to us. Help us, Lord, to be able to help us to be Lord of God, for the word of God. For all the things that we ever do in this life, we got many of us now, and we're here, Lord, and I thank you. We have prayed for the Jesus' name we have. Indeed, man. Thank you, Lord. You well, just heard the Free Web Baptist Hour. Listen in again next Sunday at 8.30. It's sponsored by the best in supermarkets of Welch and English. Mr. and Mrs. Willie Austin of Johnny Cake. Robinson and Phillips Coal Company, Pine Bill. Made car ride Dodge of Welch to Good Guys. Find service station handover. Glenn Pine, the owner. The Lee Supermarket of Ike's Fork. B&T Shore Filet from Bradshaw. And the Angus Mining Company of Colwood. And from all our sponsors. And from the good reverends. And from the seniors. It is a very happy new year to you all. Thank you.